Hello, everybody, and welcome back to more Snake RX. We are going to be doing another class showcase, and today, I mean, you already know. Why do I have an intro? It's the Enchanter. We're going to try out the Enchanter, hopefully getting some of the new items, and seeing how it can work for now, because getting the Flagellant first it seems like maybe arguably one of the worst possible starting units. Uh, I am going to lock my shop. Because we'll just we'll buy these two, and it's going to go well. We're going to get the Psyker bonus by getting the Vagrant. And then we're going to have the uh, the Archer getting getting up there as well. Feels like uh, a not bad idea. Because we'll just unlock it. You know, we don't spend a ton of money right away anyways. And quite frankly, not much of what you do early on really matters. However, picking the, the Flagellant and only the Flagellant may be one of the only ways I could imagine we might might lose. He does not have an attack, and he only damages himself to buff, buff up his allies. So it doesn't really feel like a very logical play. But Enchanter, it's kind of a it's kind of a weird one to showcase, and I'm happy we uh, we saved it for almost last, so that there's the new uh, the new items out, which may shake things up a little bit, or at the very least, we may be able to find a. Uh, Find some kind of a way to to really make it shine uh, in, in its in its own way. Obviously, it, you know, as a as class that the boost at two makes it so you buff up everybody's damage by what like fifteen percent. I think it's fifteen percent at that at level four or four units. It goes up to thirty percent. Obviously, it is uh, something that'll function better in higher higher uh, levels. Obviously, shaka shaka. As with, as with a lot of things. But that's not to say it does not have a place here. In New Game Zero, I'd say rocking two enchanters is something I enjoy doing quite a bit. Especially in a, a world where you're playing like warriors or something. I feel like there's a lot of overlap uh, or a lot of satisfaction in, in that. Oh my god, this kabod flagellant. Let's do some damage. Let's do some more damage, flagellant. Stop it. Stop hitting yourself. He's get, he's going to die before the thing is out. I want him I want him to see the success screen. Come on, my boy. Uh but yeah, there's the uh, enchanter item that makes it so whenever an enchanter takes I don't know if it takes a hit or takes damage. Uh it makes it so everybody on your team gets buffed up, same amount that the flagellant would buff them up basically. So, if we could get that, it's kind of like every time the flagellant does his thing, we uh we gotta keep stacking and stacking. If we're doing that, we're gonna probably want ourselves a healer to go with it. There we go. The flagellant just uh, said goodbye, world. Sayonara, planet. But alas, kind of just want to smash face into enemies, find success. We, I mean, the vagrant's a warrior. All right. Here's the thing. Critters have extra HP. Critters die immediately uh, when enemies hit walls. Damage based up knockback force. Position 6 takes 10% of its health as damage every 3 seconds. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. Like with Crucio, I could see that being okay, I guess. Wait, did I think Crucio got buffed at the the max rank there? Uh, Merchant, super happy to see it. Other stuff, don't really care about it, but I'll buy that. I'm not even gonna humor the jester, even though it's not gonna change our econ levels or, or anything. I'm not even gonna humor it. I just need a, I need another unit that'll do a little bit of damage. Feels nice, but yeah, we'll uh, we'll level up that item when uh, the time comes, so we can get Crucio doing some. Doing some work. As it stands, the Flagellant is doing a little bit of damage now. He's doing a little bit of damage now. Three, two, one. Whoopa! Not very much. <laughs> Not very much at all. But it's kind of gearing up to be a an Enchanter... Enchanter Warrior Face Smash build? Kind of? Sort of the, the vibe I'm getting at the moment. I'm probably not going to keep archers. 
Probably not going to keep Rangers Archers. This gives us yet another uh, yet another unit to actually do damage. So let's show out. There we go. Look at that. That sucker <laughs> took the hits for us. I don't know if it does damage or not, but the fact of the matter being that having a way to actually block those bullets is super convenient. Super convenient. It actually gives us a little bit of a uh, counterplay to it, you know. Especially as you get in the higher New Game Plus levels, those shots are actually unavoidable sometimes. So having that is just, it's just very nice. Okay, speaking of very nice, that was a really convenient level up into flat econ level. I like that. But hopefully our damage is going to start to pop off. We're going to be in a little bit of a predicament because of this speed boost. But you know what? Crucio, Crucio, Crucio. Crucio! <laughs> I want the squire so bad. Uh, let's see. Uh, sorcerer spell. Bonus te it's 10 to 20 to 30% attack speed to a random unit. With at least two enchanters. I'm trying to figure out... This... Seems really kind of bad. There's an item that exists that makes it so your unit in slot, whatever, X, fill in the blank, is, um, I mean, I'm going to buy it anyways because it's, you know, <laughs> I mean, I kind of almost might as well. All right, we're going to drop that. I do have the merchant, but it, isn't there the one that it does like 50% attack speed to unit in whatever slot? So why does this exist? It has a stipulation and it's random. Unless I'm misunderstanding the phrasing, which I think is very possible, it seems just almost strictly kind of bad. And I just wanted to get the ranger boost. It was worth it was worth one gold to me right now to get that ranger boost to help carry out my damage a little bit, so we can hopefully coast for a little bit a little bit of time here. Dodge! I love that we can actually dodge that now. You just gotta remember which directions the bullets come out on whatever New Game Plus level you're on. Because on New Game Plus 5, it, it comes out a lot quicker and it's, it covers a lot more ground. Cleric. You sure? Sorcerer, voider, sorcerer. Do we? I mean, do we need? Do we care about the sorcerer? I don't know if I care about the sorcerer. Um. Man, we are routinely, routinely under the <laughs> the limit. I'm. I. I hate that, but you know what? I think we're gonna be just fine on this one. I think we're going to be just fine. And then we'll just buy another unit after. Uh, I would like to probably pivot towards Warrior since we're, we've are we got Crucio. Warrior, Warrior, Enchanter, Healer vibe. Something like that. There is an Enchanter Warrior. There is an Enchanter Healer. It's not... The Enchanter Healer is not my favorite healer that exists, but it's... It's worth it enough for the to get them bonuses a Bruin. But getting like the the priest. Crucio! Just smash face an enemy, smile. Smash face an enemy and smile. There was gold on the ground. I uh, looked the way. Outlaw, there is a world where it's not bad, but like we're we're gonna we're gonna coast until hundred gold now, I think. It, unless something really special shows up. If we were at 51, I would have obviously purchased something, but if it's going to make or break a... Um, if it's going to make or break an econ level for me, I'm going to say no. That's my current stance. Oh, well, we called the guys that were protecting us. If we can actually smash face into bullets and kill enemies. What happened? Oh, flagellant. Must have been the flagellant. Oh, witch, don't kill him. Yep. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. 
We don't, I mean, I don't know. Maybe we, I don't know if we have a strong enough team to coast yet. Because it's, it's not good. Like, don't get me wrong. This team is not well set up yet. I'm trying to get the, the foothold in for a team that's going to be good. Oh, shoot. I was not expecting more enemies. All right, we'll, we'll, we'll be a little bit more careful for a second. Yeah, we, we are still having issues against these ranged units with the build we have since we don't have that raw damage. Yeah, we should have just should just be running face into enemy. All right, maybe we maybe we can't coast. Maybe we can't. Uh, when enemies have walls, they explode the projectiles. I don't love this. I do kind of like berserking if we are going to end up going for what I am planning on going for. Fairy Usurer. There we go. We got our Enchanter bonus up to 15% there. Uh, Usurer. You know, whatever. We got him. When we get ourselves up to a higher Econ level, I'll, then I'll start to level up my items, which is going to be an exciting get. God, I want a Squire so bad. I want to pivot this into Warriors, but we need... I feel like we need the right warrior to show up. Squire would be very, obviously, big. Uh, other than that... I don't know. The Vagrant's, the Vagrant's doing pretty good. I think we, we might end up keeping the Vagrant. Uh, it gives us the Psyker bonus if we're going to keep the Flagellant, which... Eh, if we can find ourselves a Priest, I think we're in a good spot. Because the, the Flagellant can... I was going to call him the Fragrant. The Fragrant can continue to uh, level himself up. Keep on giving us that damage boost over time. That'd be great. I mean, do I want to just take a Swordsman? Probably not. Getting him to level 3 at this point is becoming increasingly more challenging. Like, the reason we'll keep the Vagrant is because uh, we've already got a little bit of work done on the Vagrant. No big deal. I suspect issues with this unit. We need to chase them down. Okay. Well, let's get the money for now. We don't have the miner, so there's no reason to save that stuff. But I think we need to smash our face into this enemy. I think we're going to have problems otherwise. We might have problems anyways, but... So yeah, we have the fairy who is giving us the heal and uh, the plus 100% attack speed to a random unit. But the thing is, the fact that the heal is on a random unit kind of sucks. But we'll probably end up keeping them. They are an enchanter. I saw that, saw that coming from a mile away. Oh boy. Cleric. Cleric is going to help us a bit more, I think. All right. Um, sure. I'll, I'll drop down the level so we can share 40% of our damage. That is going to be nice. I, I'm confused on that one, man. I'm confused on it. All right, but we're going to stick there. We can get uh, free money all the way up to 100 gold. All right, I'm hoping this will be a little bit more telling. This is a this is a rough level. This boss is no joke. The good news is when we start taking damage, they're going to take damage with me. So we're kind of good in that regard. Smash face. Yeah, we're actually... I think we're decently well off now as a result of that. Flagellant is going to, yeah, smack himself and thus smack the enemy. Oh. See, 10, ten damage, defense, and attack speed to all allies. All allies with at least one enchanter. What do you mean by this? Because the other one says with at least two enchanter. So no unit can have two enchanter class classes. So is this is it literally just saying if you have an enchanter, 30% damage, defense, and attack speed to all allies? Like 
Obviously, Unwavering Stance is really, really, really good. Let's just let's just mash that. We'll mash that. And we'll see what happens. All right, we're getting we're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Level thirteen. Our team is starting to starting to become something something sort of messy, in a good way. Messy for them. All right, that's the damage we're taking. It's not that bad. We have a cleric. So these units that are a little bit lower HP, we don't have to worry as much about them. All right. All right. Okay. So yeah, the damage uh, damage on unit in space six item. Like, we have a we have a world where it's useful now. Like, if that were to show up now, I guess I'd probably take it. And the flagellant is allowed to keep on doing his job because he keeps on getting healed up. We we're, we're getting there. We're getting there, boy. Oh, boy, howdy. Oh, I didn't see that one at the end until it was a little bit too late. Swordsman, archer, vagrant, sure. I just don't... I'm not going to keep the... You sh I'm not going to keep you. Carver. Carver over Cleric? Sure. I'll take you for now. Barbarian. Alright. We're at 100. That's Econ. Alright. We should move the Juggernaut to the front. Come on, Carver. Uh-oh. I, I regret what I've done. I regret what I've done. I think the Cleric is actually going to be better than the Carver for us. The Carver can heal us while we're at full... Above 50%, though. That's like... That's the big catch. You know? It's a pretty good catch. The priest is just the better one of uh, like the priest is the thing to get for us though. That it's all it's all irrelevant. The priest will solve our problems. Cleric at level three is a, effectively the priest. So we could have tried to invest in our future that way, but not too worried about it. I love when you're on the final wave and you can <laughs> you feel like you can just smash your face into the enemies and it just won't matter. Such a good feeling. I don't know what you mean by that, but I'll take it. Um, uh, Stormweaver. We are showcasing the Enchanter. That is true. That is true. Which means it's your time to go. And I feel like we might need a little something else. Chronomancer, bonus attack speed to all allies. I mean, these are all, like, nice things. But at what cost? I'm going to ditch you, and then we will replace the merchant with the priest when the, uh, the time comes. And I just I feel like we might need a little help. We are pushing it. We are pushing it. We are pushing it. But we got our max set of enchanters now. We got our max set. We've got heals that are going to a random target, which is not my favorite. But we are we're gonna make this work. The goal is to get an enchanter situation working. So our attack speed goes up based off of how much HP we're missing with our warriors. So far, Vagrant is a little bit lower HP. That's really not too big of a deal. Could... Oh, that is a little bit more of a problem. If our Vagrant's semi-low on HP, 
it can work to our advantage for DPS. We actually may have just beefed it by doing what I did here. I don't think uh, I don't think we should have traded yet. We are we kind of suck. Our team is actually like really bad. We have so much money. If we can survive this, first of all, that'd be a wonderful, wonderful miracle. Oh my god. Why do we have to have shooters as well? Okay. I wish I could lower the HP of my uh, my other warrior, my barbarian. Well, not that his damage is really going to be that big of a deal. Oh, well, hey, there we go. We've done it. We can get his attack speed to go up. But I don't really want to worry about it. I think we're going to be actually... It depends what units are in the next wave. If we can dispatch anything major pretty quickly, we might be okay. But yeah, we've... We really... Oh god, we're screwed. We really beefed it in terms of... Uh, of when we pivoted. It was not the time. Oh, shoot. That didn't work. Uh-oh. Alright. That stun is actually causing a problem. Okay. Let's hope for a stun on him. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, we can make it work. We'll make a we'll make a garbage situation work. But dang, it, it is not the play to have four enchanters. Oh my god! First and last positions have plus thirty percent damage. Okay. God, I want the squire so bad. Highlander. Highlander over Barb. Just get some actual damage in there. Psy Keeper. There's our priest. <laughs> um, is it time? Is it time to drop the econ? I think we are actually just going to drop our econ. Juggernaut. Can we get a squire? Can I get a squire? Squire. Okay. All right. Tax speed allies. Stormweaver can get the hell out of here. All right. All right. All right. All right. This team is so much better. Okay. This team is so much better. I don't love the fairy, but like, you know, it's fine. Uh, we'll, we'll keep them. Level three. Level three would be, would be something. All right, there we go. We're 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 in there. We've got we got a little something something going now. We got the uh, oh, that was bad. We have the AOE healer. That guy's... Oh, my God. They're, like, chasing me down before anybody even can do anything. Explosion incoming. All right. All right. Yeah, okay. 
this is feeling like a team now. This is feeling like a team. Heal that dang flagellant, please. Before he kills himself. The thing is, I wish that the flagellant's self-damage did not get buffed by damage ups. Why does it, right? Like, I, I understand the attack speed working, but I really wish that the flagellant would get changed so its self-damage did not scale with the damage ups that it receives. Feels kind of weird. Makes the it makes the unit really counterproductive a lot of times, and hard to uh, hard to effectively utilize. Yeah, we're in a great spot now, though. We are in a really good spot now, though. Flagellant, be darned. All right. All right. Thirty percent extra damage in the front and back, which is good because we only have like two units that are really doing direct damage. But look at that Vagrant damage. It's huge. Okay. Over time, over time, over time. I mean, yeah, Vagrant one-shotting is such a treat. We need, to, we need to be a little bit further away. I guess with the... No, it's just, it's just such a small AoE from the high land there. I want to take some damage so we can attack faster. I mean, that's pretty big. That's pretty big. Our heals are... Okay, Flagellant's about to be big dead. No! Flagellant made it all the way to the end. What a world. I love the psychic. It is a shame, though. Squire! Squire! Please give me that. Please give me that level three. Such a pleasant treat. Such a pleasant treat it is. Okay, over the course of time, our damage is gonna... It's just gonna keep on ramping up. That's how much damage we do right now? That's pretty big, considering... Theoretically, you wouldn't think we'd... Oh. I thought we... I didn't think we would take as much as we just took there. All right, that's problematic. I mean, we're gonna be fine. Like, I'm not, I'm not worried. Unless our vagrant dies, then we have no issues unless our vagrant dies. But yeah, we shouldn't have done that. Position three has 50% attack speed. What if the priest? Does that work? We'll find out. We'll find out. It's it's pretty slow. I mean, I don't know if that counts as attack speed. Do spell are spells attack speed? I would assume probably not. But boy, that'd be cool. Well, but, like, why else would warriors get attack speed? Because, no, I guess probably anything that's not a bar is, is, uh, is attack speed, right? Like, obviously that's attack speed. No, duh. I'll just look at, I'll look at the bar right now, I'll watch it moving, and then I'll switch it out of that position, and then I'll try and piece it together. So we don't have a lot of units that actually can take advantage of that. We don't have a lot of <laughs> units that shoot. God, look at that Vagrant go! Alright, I mean, we should be able to notice that big of an increase. So... We'll switch these and we'll see how, We'll see what that looks like. That'll probably help. Make it, uh, make it pretty clear. It... It looks like it's going just as fast. So, I mean, we could put the Vagrant in there, and then we'll put somebody else who does damage but doesn't 
maybe necessarily... Huh. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that rapid-fire vagrant. That's the priest in action there. If we can make the vagrant take a little bit of damage too, we could just be doing even more... I mean, we're we're killing it. It it took us uh it took us some effort to get here, for sure. But we are killing it with four enchanters on New Game Zero. I honestly I thought that this one might end up being one of the tougher ones since if you have four units that are buffing your other units, you really have to put a lot of a lot of stock into those other units. But the good news is. Uh, the Vagrant for a tier 1 unit is a really, really good unit to kind of, like, focus on. It's, like, weirdly, weirdly beneficial. But, yeah, I don't, I don't think that that impacts attack speed. It'd be fun. It'd be fun, but I just can't tell. We just don't have a lot of attack speed units. All right. I mean, is the flagellant hitting itself more? Because I, I would consider that to be a good thing as well. We definitely don't want to damage up. We don't want the flagellant in the back. That that much is for sure. sniped that did not go well did we lose our cleric or our fairy i think we lost our fairy the good news is we got a lot of the damage boost that we needed that was our flagellant dying that's okay it's understandable we got a lot of the damage boost we really needed oh boy this is, oh, this is, what is this? This is evil. That, what was that? What was that? That layout, the orange units from every direction? On what planet? I can't, I can't, man. <laughs> Thank you to Crucio. What do you do with that? Uh, defense to all allies whenever a warrior is hit is something that will play really nicely with what we are building right here. Alright. Who do we give our attack speed to? Like, who does even... <laughs> we have, like, nobody who does damage. It's like... It's... <laughs> we have nobody who, like, does damage. How do I have two units... Thirty percent, thirty damage or fifty percent attack speed. I mean, fifty percent attack speed is better. And then for damage, we kind of want a warrior in the back. But it's like, man, what a waste of the damage up. But I'm not gonna like, I'm not gonna put the flagellant in the back. He'll just die quicker. Yeah, it's just a, uh, it is just not a new game zero team. This is this is the one I will say. I I I don't recommend going for this on New Game Zero. I think you'll have an easy I genuinely think that this one will be much easier to get on New Game Plus. Cause I that's where I, I got mine on like I think I on like my new game four run or something like that. It's super easy to just have it, you know. Like if you're getting going for anything that has like any splash of warriors getting the squire is is always for me always feels like a no-brainer usually because then you can like focus heavily on one specific unit a little bit a little bit easier oh my god the attack speed is the way to go because our damage is getting upgraded like crazy from the flagellant regardless so we're just doing that damage much more often now it's really good i feel i feel feel pretty decent about our decision thank you oh when the fairy when the fairy goes it's beautiful 
if we could just get that uh, that level three fairy. Obviously, we're gonna be in for a much better time. Every shot is a one shot from the vagrant here. Honestly, it wouldn't be a bad idea to get the uh, rangers to tax have a chance to to bounce. So that he goes from a single target into a, ooh, a much more than single target kind of a guy. Okay. So far, so fine. Smash face into enemy, have success. Oh, man. It's it's just so good. It's so satisfying. The flagellant keeps on making it, too, so... Wait. What the hell? Oh, my God. I janked it. I janked it. I don't want the level 3 flagellant. Because he will kill everybody on my team. <laughs> There's no way we're getting the fairy up at this point. Uh, Chronomancer would be really fun. Oh. Squire! All right, we're at 24. Not great, but like it's when you see the unit like that, it's worth taking. Okay. Vagrant is actually in the proper spot now. We'll see. If my uh, if my flagellant dies, then maybe the attack speed is indeed a thing. But it's not it's not in the way that you would think, where it's like fifty percent makes it take fifty percent less. If the flagellant lives, well, okay, well that's that makes it tough to figure out. Okay. No. Oh, we almost beefed it for ourselves. There we go. There we go. He's putting in that work. Putting in that work. My lovely, lovely vagrant. Try our best to focus fire the orange guys. Oh, it's such, such a dream. Yeah, boy. Okay. I mean, Uroboros would be fun with this because I think that we could genuinely just stand in a circle and spin and all all worries would fade away greatly. All right. I'm thinking... I mean, it, maybe maybe too early to say I'm, I'm feeling... I'm feeling success. It's it's weird though. We lose this vagrant to a lesser extent if we lose the Highlander. We're in for a wild time. Go 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 go! No no. Oh. See, that's the thing about attack speed is sometimes if they attack fast enough, they can actually just kill the unit before they make it to you when they're being thrown. That's big. Flagellant died. That might not mean anything for it because this has been a much longer... This has been a much longer fight, so I don't think that means anything. I think he would have died a lot quicker if the, there was actually any impact. Squire! 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 Bonus damage, attack speed, movement speed, and defense all allies. So that, I think that it does, I think it, the first thing doesn't happen anymore, and it just, it's the bottom thing now. I could be wrong. 30% damage, so we get an extra 10% damage. 30% attack speed, 30% movement speed, and an extra 10% defense. If that is just, if that is quote-unquote all it is, is that upgrade, then that is a lot. God, stop. Oh, God, stop. Oh, God, stop. This guy is going to be more of a problem than the final boss. I'm I'm thinking. All right, we got him. With the right builds, a lot of times the bosses die much fast. Like, <laughs> obviously, but they're much quicker. Position 5 shoots 3 projectiles a second. Position 4 has 30% damage. 
This stuff is... I, I guess we do this because I don't... I can't possibly have my characters... Ooh, irrelevant. Can't possibly have my characters all in those positions. It just doesn't... It just, it just, it's just not possible. Oh, no. Okay, good. That's flagellant level two. I thought I made a huge mistake. Flagellant level three is maybe us dying. This is all irrelevant. I can't get... I, I won't be able to... Even if I could get another priest there, it just wouldn't have mattered. All right, come on. Fingers crossed, man. Fingers crossed. See, that's what I was thinking. I, I was thinking... Oh, my God. Whoa. Whoa. Why am I... Why do I feel like I'm moving so fast? Yeah. Final boss. For, for the build, we have final boss so much easier than the second to last boss. All right. That is that, man. And that is going to do it for today. That is the Enchanter class. I think it showcases what it generally is pretty darn well here in the sense of it is a supplementary. Uh, the thing is, you, you look at what we have here and what we had on our team, and you look at how nasty, how downright nasty the Vagrant was, and to an extent, the Highlander. Imagine if every single... And I, I know that there was a, a world where we just wouldn't run healers, but I felt like it's kind of the spirit. Uh, imagine a world where... For every New Game Plus, you have another unit that could potentially be just as strong as the Vagrant. So on New Game Plus 5, you know, you have five extra units that all could potentially be as buffed up as the Vagrant. It is it's it is a very good class to have that just gets better to have because 15 like 15% 15 damage to all other units being the two bopper for Enchanter. On a team of 12 instead of a team of 7? That's that's so much value. That is so much value. It's all about the raw value with this class. And it is a supplemental. It is not a focus. But the new stuff does make it better. Uh, some of it is... Some of it's a little bit ambiguous uh, with the, the phrasing of the items. Some of them like, could be actually busted as hell if I'm understanding them right. But I don't know if I am. But that's that. That's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. Check out the channel for Rogue Games and more every single day. Make sure you like and comment if you want more Snake RX moving forward on the channel here. And I'll see you next time. Bye.